Come to see the richest man in Achaia, have you? You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Rich, wanting for nothing, and calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm... Alexios. And... I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Alexios. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsomely. So, you get the theorems, and I get the reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first... The theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Tell me about Zeno's Paradox. Myself excluded. <laughs> Zeno Evelia was the world's brightest philosopher, known for writing paradoxes that could stump anyone. His work was thought destroyed, but I happen to know the priests in Locris saved it. About the golden ratio. Ah, the divine number. It's a guiding principle in architecture, sculpture, and is found in nature too. The original is wasting away in the dirty hands of sculptors in Argos. It should be with a mathematician. Like me. <laughs> Where am I going to find the Pythagorean theorem? It's all around you, of course. Deceptively simple, but subtly mysterious. The equation was apparently etched in stone. I heard the tale it was lost in sunken ruins between three islands that form a triangle. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. That's what I'm looking for. the documents Democritus wants. This isn't even math. It's a child's fable. There it is. Huh! <laughs> 
The golden ratio. Democritos will want to know I found it. Oh. Stop throwing! Here it is. Kere, Democritos. Alexios! <laughs> what have you brought me? So I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> and what did you think of it? The tortoise arrives at a point. Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after him. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. <laughs> exactly. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fables. Zeno was clever. 
Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> but the minds of children are endlessly wise. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that will change the course of existence. If you say so, it's just a rectangle to me. Open your eyes. That rectangle is two shapes. A rectangle, yes, but also a square. The length of sides A and B is to the length of the side A, as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> it isn't used, only observed. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere. And nowhere. It took some doing, but I found the Pythagorean theorem. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it in its original glory. <laughs> I thought it might be about the points of the triangle, but the theorem is about the length of the sides. Astute! <laughs> You're wiser than you put on. The two shorter sides squared, when added together, are equal to the square of the hypotenuse. That was a lot to take in, but I think I found everything. You did. And with this, I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the universe. What is this theory? Using the theorems as evidence, I intend to prove that the universe is divisible into infinitely smaller parts. As we break reality down, the parts shrink and the space between them grows. Once you prove your theory, what will you do with it? Although I aim to prove that the universe is divisible, I hope that the theory can be used to unite people. All of this sounds ambitious. One can't achieve greatness by attempting mediocrity. <laughs> but I confess, I have a personal motivation. Everyone always does. Ha! In another life, you would have made a fine student. When I was a student, I loved a poet. But I was so consumed by study, I never told her. I hope to use these theorems to show her my poetry. And maybe to win her heart. If that's what you want to do, let's do it. What? <laughs> right now? You missed your chance to tell her once, Timokritos. There's no point in missing it again. Let's go. You're right. This time I will do it properly. I never would have guessed you were a lover. Well, I wasn't. My theory that all atoms exist with a great void between them is a bit like the life I've lived. But not anymore. Now you're filling that void. Maybe. Maybe what fills the void and what draws us together is love. Save that line for the poet, Demokritos. It's a you good think one. So? All right, I will. No! That gun! Those bandits stole them! <laughs> 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 Mokritos, I'm sorry. They killed her for it to end like this after all this time. You 
have your theorem, and the others. Read them to her. Let her see your poetry. It's too late. It's never too late. You can go. In another life, she might have known my love for her. You might have been my student. Imagine the happiness we'd have known. A wise man told me, the richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. Don't want for the past, Democritus. I'll leave soon enough. But for now, I think I want for privacy. Take this and leave me to mourn, Alexios.